Hey guys, it's Ashley N here coming to you with my week 9, 10, and, and 11 update. Sorry, I've been MIA for a few weeks. I've just been super busy uh, with the start of summer and I was traveling, so I apologize um, for the delay, um, but I will give you some quick updates. So to start, um, I wrote down my weight. So I think the last time I came at you, I was 203.4, which was week eight. And the following week I was 201.1, and then 199.3, and today I weighed in at 196.8. Um, so from my high weight of 242, that's a loss of 45.2 pounds, which is really exciting. Um, and from day of surgery, um, I don't know what that math is, but <laughs> whatever that, whatever 45.2 minus 11 is. Um, so yeah, I still count from like the beginning because I really hadn't had any recent weight loss efforts until my pre-op diet two weeks before surgery. So I kind of just count my total weight loss, um, in that, in that span. So lately the past few weeks, it's been about two pounds or, you know, give and take some percentage percentages um, around two pounds so I haven't stalled so I've lost for 11 straight weeks so I'm not really gonna complain about that I've definitely seen people with a lot higher numbers losing you know three four or five pounds on some weeks but ever since I came off the kind of like liquidy foods um, I've been around like two plus pounds a week um, so some days I'm like ah, oh, that's not that much but then I'm like the last time I lost 45 pounds was like so long ago and it took double the time. So for almost three months out, I'm feeling really happy about um, that. And I also had lost more inches. I think total I've lost almost 47 inches off my body, 42 inches. Um, so overall it's like my body is shrinking and everything is good. Um, I don't have too many like updates because I'm still just kind of eating random food, um, mostly protein, trying to get some veggies and fruits in there. I was on vacation over the 4th in Kentucky at my dad's lake house and I definitely ate more bread products like granola bars, protein bars, um, bread on sandwiches than I'm used to. So. I didn't have like that much of a weight loss this week, but it was still like over a pound. Um, so I'm trying to go back to like not eating that kind of stuff because I did notice a difference when I eat the more like carby type foods. Um, it does slow down my weight loss a little bit. So since I'm not where I want to be yet, um, I'm trying to just keep to the, the protein and the veggies and still working on my water and vitamins. Um, I did... No, I haven't had any um, doctor's appointments since I last talked to you guys, I don't think. No, yeah, because that was my eight-week video. Um, I'm meeting with a psychologist on July 23rd for a checkup, um, and then my next, like, surgeon visit is August 3rd, and that will be, like, just after the 12th. That will be, like, 13 weeks, 14 weeks, maybe. Um, so, overall, everything's good. I... I've definitely had a few more times where I ate too fast. Still working on that. It's gonna take a long time. Um, and as far as food aversion goes, the problem with that is if you only, if you're eating multiple things and then you get sick, you don't know what caused it. Um, so previously, when I've had like the foamies and just like food getting stuck, I, I've attributed it to eating too fast but over the fourth I did have one situation where I actually got sick um, and it was the first time I had a half of a cheeseburger homemade and it was on like a dinner roll bun not like a full hamburger bun so um, but the nutritionist always said that red meat is hard on the stomach so my thought is that it was the red meat but I had also had like chips and salsa and baked beans and coleslaw not in large amounts, but I had been kind of eating like over a longer period of time. I guess I would have called it like cookout grazing versus like sitting down to a meal. So I had had the burger and I felt fine. And then 
Of course, they pull out dessert, and I'm like, well, I'm just going to literally have a bite, just so I feel like I tasted it, because everyone was talking about how good it was, and I'm kind of in the mindset where I'm like, since I can eat so little, like, it's okay to have a dessert, you know, because if you're only going to have a bite, that's not going to derail you. So, basically, I had one bite of dessert, and I was pretty full. I was like, I shouldn't even eat this, but I'm just going to eat a bite. And literally after I ate that one bite of dessert, I got immediately nauseous and actually got sick. And not to be gross, but it was the burger that came up. So I think the only way to really figure out if it was the red meat that actually my stomach rejected was to try it again. So I'm going to give it a few weeks and then I'll try a cheeseburger by itself at maybe like at a restaurant or something and see. Um... You know, obviously not, I'm not going to eat a lot of it, but anyways, that's like my only food aversion issue. Otherwise, everything goes down fine that I've tried. Um, and like I said, before surgery, like me being overweight and gaining weight had nothing to do with eating unhealthy foods. I don't really know what it was. Genetics, I guess, because in portions. Because um, I've always been a super healthy eater, and so my diet's been pretty much the same. So that's been a lot easier to adjust because it's just really the portion control that the surgery helped with. So that's all good. Um, let's see. Now that it's been a few weeks, I really don't want to ramble on about, I'm trying to think of things that have happened um, that are worth mentioning. But I don't really have anything good. Follow my Instagram. If you guys have Instagram, it's anivs18 because I post way more pictures and updates there. And if you're on Facebook, um, I have a page called Getting Stronger, Burning Fat. That's like my weight loss update page. I only say that because I want to keep these videos interesting and next time I'll do a, you know, it's easier when I do them one week at a time because I like remember what's going on. So I needed to just get this update up so you knew that I was still alive and kicking. Um, but... Yeah, oh wait, hi, I made Wonderland. I'm like rattling off all these numbers. Let's talk about that, how I hit Wonderland, woo! Um, yeah, that was exciting. I haven't been in, I decided, I hadn't been in the 100 since 2010. So that's, I basically lost five years of weight gain in two months, two and a half months. So that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, it was 196.8, so I've been, I've been in, um, Wonderland for the past two weeks and now my goal was to hit it by July 4th and I did a few days before that so I met that goal my next goal is to get into the 180s obviously so 6.8 pounds to go I'd like that by the end of August I think that's pretty doable diet bet is ending tomorrow and I already surpassed my weight so I'll definitely get my money back for that from Lauren Losings um, and I don't really know how it works. Hopefully I'll make more money than my 35, but I at least will pass the 4% uh, lost. So that's exciting. And what else? Oh, in Kentucky, my stepbrother and I ran a 5k and it was like literally uphill both ways. And we both came in second in our age group. And it was awesome because I'm in Boston where you know, it's a huge running city, and so I don't run very fast. So when I did a race with like 20 other people and got second place, I was pretty happy about that. So that was really exciting, and we were like totally not expecting it. Um, so it was really fun, and I ran the whole race without stopping, no walk breaks. So my weight loss has definitely helped my legs because I think I mentioned I've had two calf surgeries in the past for compartment syndrome. Um, and even after surgery, I would still have some pain running, and I think it was because I was had gained so much weight that it was hard on my joints and my legs. So since I've lost this 45 pounds, um, now I run with no pain whatsoever. So that's like a huge non-scale victory, and I'm also um, 1.8 pounds from my marathon weight. I ran the Chicago Marathon in 2010 at 195 pounds. So to anyone that says they can't run because they're too they're overweight that's a lie anyone can do it doesn't matter how you know fast you go as long as you're out there um, so hopefully that's a motivation boost that like yeah 195 pounds still completed a marathon if I can do it you can too so 
Um, yeah, I'm pretty close to that weight, which means I should really be upping my mileage, but right now I'm comfortable around three miles. Um, but I'll probably be doing a 10K race, which is 6.2 miles um, in September and October, so I'm gonna get myself back up to six miles pretty soon. Um, I really don't wanna keep you guys because I feel like I'm just rambling today, but I hope everyone's been doing well with their journeys and um, if you guys, again, I always post, I love hearing your comments and questions. If there's any topics you want me to touch now that I'm 11 weeks out, almost three months out post-surgery, um, let me know. And since I didn't post a video on my month two measurements, I'll definitely do it at month three in a couple weeks. Um, just because I doubt there's, since I haven't lost, I've lost about like 10 pounds since my last measurement, so I don't think it will be too different. Um, so I'll just compare like one month to three months and do an update then. And I'll definitely do a 12 week update next week. Until next time, see you guys.